Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Um, today in our series, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week, we're looking at um, looking to find the smallest possible value of n, which is larger than 1, such that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus everything up to n squared, all over n, is going to give us a perfect uh, square. Um, so we can start by simplifying this um, numerator. So simplifying this gives us n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 is going to give us the top and then giving in, putting in the bottom n. Um, so we want that to be a perfect square. So we're going to call that uh, n squared. And then um, looking at this, we can kind of multiply and uh, multiply through and simplify. So it's going to look something. So after we multiply through, simplify, um, we want this to give us a 1 on the right side, um, this new equation, um, just so um, we can look for the, the squares easier. Um, this is called Pell's equation, um, and we're going to use that to uh, try to find a solution to uh, our original problem. Um, so yeah, this is Pell's equation. So we're going to um, look for a fundamental solution uh, for Pell's equation. That can give us um, more solutions to this. And then we're, we're going to try to find one that can give us a perfect square. Um, so um, looking at this and using um, a simplified version of Pell's equation, we know it's going to be um, uh, we can just call this x squared and this y squared. So we can do that here. So with this equation, we're looking for uh, solutions to that as well. Um, but Pell's equation tells us we can simplify this um, to find the fundamental solution, which is like the most basic, um, smallest um, solution, which then we could use to produce the other uh, solutions as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so just, this would be the fundamental solution, our most basic case. Um, or we can get any case from our basic uh, solution, x1 and y1, the fundamental solution multiply to the k power, um, that will give us a new form. So looking, um, trying to find a fundamental solution for this equation, it's just going to be um, our x uh, minus the square root of 48y, because 48 is our n, and we're just going to look for uh, an answer to that. So, correction, just looking at uh, this formula, x squared minus 48, y squared minus 1, it's easy to see that with x squared being 7, uh, well, x being 7, x squared being 49, and then y just being 1, we're going to get 49 minus 48 is 1. Um, so the fundamental solution uh, for this equation is just 7, 1. And then with this fundamental sol uh, solution, we can plug this in for x1 and y1 um, to look for um, more cases where um, our x is going to produce a uh, number that can is um, going to be able to fit in this form, 4n plus 3. Um, so let's go ahead and look for the next um, few increments of which Pell's equation gives us for this equation. So 
So looking at um, using our fundamental solution 7-1, we can then go ahead and find the second, um, the second set, which is going to give us the same solution, um, which is going to satisfy um, x squared minus 48y squared equals 1. Um, all three of these will satisfy that uh, based on our um, theorem here. And so looking at these three, um, we're trying to find one that's going to give us a perfect square in the original equation, which um, is this formula here. So we're looking for something that's going to be um, um, equal to 3 mod 4. Um, so looking at the first one, we know that um, we know that this is going to be equal to 1, so that's not going to give us something that's uh, 3 mod 4, which we're looking for here. Um, same with the second one. The second one is not going to give us um, 97, is not uh, 3 mod 4. So sorry, when I'm looking at the mods, I'm looking just at this first term that we're looking for here. Um, but in the third case, uh, 1351 is going to actually um, be 3 mod 4. So since this, since 1351 is 3 mod 4, we know that this, um, this number here is going to be 1354 and our n we were looking for from the first equation is going to be equal to 337. Um, so using Pell's equation we were able to find um, the smallest n um, which gave us a perfect square from the first equation. Um, so thank you for watching this week's problem, uh, advanced knowledge problem of the week. Um, subscribe for more content, uh, like the video and uh, have a great day.